Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to talk about how I lost three stone. So in September last year, I noticed I needed to lose weight and I wanted to. And I think it's one of the main things, you really need to want to lose weight, you want to. If you just f talk about wanting to lose weight or think about it but you don't put the effort in, you're not gonna, are you? And also one of my biggest things as well, do not do the short term diets. Honestly, these Juice Plus and all the strict um, calorie diets are not good, honestly. If you think that you could do that forever, great, do it. It ain't gonna really, you ain't gonna be happy because everyone wants to eat food, everyone likes food. You want to enjoy food. So you need to realise that doing any of these diets that promote weight loss or pills or anything isn't gonna work out because you can't take them forever. You can't, you're not gonna be healthy on the inside anyway by doing that. Get an understanding on how to cook things healthier, what is good for you, what do you enjoy. If you're one of those people that really don't like vegetables or salads or anything, it ain't really an excuse because there are so many meals that you enjoy that you can make healthier. All you need to do, if you're a meat eater and you're going for the high fat meat, all you need to do, cut down as much meat you're eating, cut the fat off your meat, take the skin off the chicken if you're having a roast or whatever, and that is just a big impact itself. Started off losing weight by being veggie. Mm -hmm. I was a really big meat eater, I will admit I liked meat and I used to eat probably too much of it and too much of anything will make you gain weight. Yeah, I started realising that, actually I started not enjoying meat very much, because I used to really love it, but I started not enjoying it. And um, my mum and my brother were being veg vegetarians as well, so what I done is, I started buying corn products, and I love vegetables anyway, so any meal that I would make, so spaghetti bolognese, chili con carne, I make a lot of home meals because I cook for my brother as well, um, just stopped putting meat in it and honestly you won't even know the difference you will not miss mince in a spag bowl I'm just saying you will not because the corn products they so much like meat you just don't you don't know the difference so just by doing that I actually lost seven pounds in a week I like it was quite quick just through cutting up the meat in my diet and obviously I wasn't eating as many calories as I probably would I've done the week before because vegetables keep you fuller for longer anyway and if you have eaten healthy food you are just fuller and you don't feel sick you don't feel uncomfortable because all the grease and whatever's going in your body you feel good and you don't feel hungry as much lost quite a lot of weight in that week and once you see results as well you start getting more motivated to lose more weight and to get into getting fitter and healthier because what people need to remember it's not just about losing weight you need to consider your health because if you're someone that just eats takeaways all the time or frozen food bags of crisps sugary fizzy drinks your health isn't great even the people that can't put on weight very well and they can get away with eating whatever they want and you're like oh my god I can't believe it but really you've got to think of the health the healthy my phone's going on you have to think about the health your health on the inside. You need to think about your guts, your mood, your energy, and you don't get very good health by eating shit. And we all know that. And people think they can't treat themselves and that's why people fall off the bandwagon because you crave a lot of food. What I do is I make healthier alternatives to foods that I really am craving. So if I fancied chocolate, I would make I would use dark chocolate because dark chocolate is a lot better for you. It's got a lot of um, benefits to it. But anything I crave, I will just make a healthy alternative. I don't miss out burgers. I can do a video where it's takeaway, healthy takeaways. So all your favourite foods cooked healthier so you're not feeling guilty afterwards. And guess what? It tastes great. How you keep on going, that's how you don't fall off the bandwagon. You do have what you want and what you love, but you just make it healthier. And some of you may be thinking, I don't even know where to start to lose weight. I don't know what to do. So, for people like that, I feel like exercise is a big thing. It is a part of losing weight because 
if you're someone that's quite large and you don't exercise and you just diet, there is a dog barking outside. Anyway, if you're quite large anyway and you start losing weight and you don't, you do not exercise, your body just doesn't look fit as it could be. So when you are losing weight, it's, the best idea is to work out with it while eating healthy. A balanced diet, always a balanced diet. No restrictions. No. I do apologise about this dog outside. Did not plan this. So if you could ignore it, just that'd be great. Before exercise, what I do, because I'm not the biggest cardio fan, I'm not. I, I'm not the greatest at jumping about and doing all that good stuff. The way I do cardio is I would go for long walks, riding a bike. If you've got a dog, that's the greatest way to get your cardio in. You can walk miles with a dog and going into the fields, like it's great for you. But for me, I'm quite into toning and building muscle. I bought a resistant band uh, last year, I think, or this year. And that is so great for toning your legs, your bum. It really builds your bum up. If you get like a really tight one, then it builds the muscle in your bum. And that's how I get my bum in a good shape. Legs, and you can do it to your arms as well. It's brilliant. And it doesn't feel like you're doing much. It's really barren. So it's brilliant. And I do a lot of weightlifting. So I do have weights at my house. So I don't really need to go to the gym. But I also do, I've said about them before, fitness blender. If you're not the type of person that likes going to the gym, then doing a workout at home. A lot of people say they haven't got time to work out and all this, but there isn't really much of an excuse because I'm sure you've got 10 minutes in your day to do something. Uh, these fitness blender people, they just do so many different workouts that suit you. So you, if you want to just do your abs, they do a 10 minute abs. Um, they do Pilates, high intensity, a thousand calorie burner. That's if you're really up there, I'm not. Exercise is a big part of losing weight and getting, just making your body how you want it to be. Because some people do lose weight and they're still not very happy. And if you exercise with it, your body just tightens, you get more definition and you build the areas you want. So exercise is a must. So if you are a newbie to the weight loss world, then the easiest thing you can do is swapping what you eat with other alternatives. So if you are someone that drinks milk in your tea or coffee and you go for full fat or semi skim, try the skimmed or even try almond milk. It'll make a big difference in itself. These little things that you change will make you lose weight anyway if you have them on time and then you cut them out. Yeah. And if you have two sugars or three sugars in your tea or coffee, add one. Cut them down. If you drink sugary drinks, fizzy drinks, go to diet. Even though the diet, I know that diet's not that good for you because of the aspartame and the chemicals, that's not actually good for your health. If you look through my what I eat in a day videos, you'll get a gist of what I eat anyway. Um, it changes all the time. So now I'm veggie, I do eat fish, I do like salmon, and I do, I've gone on to corn products, but sometimes I don't even have that, I just like vegetables. So it's great if you love vegetables and it's healthy for you and there's not many calories in vegetables so that's the great thing about it. I also think that if you are starting out, download uh, My Fitness Pal. It is great. It will give you a really big insight to what you're eating and how many calories in it. So a lot of people aren't very uh, clued on with what they're eating, they don't realise how many calories are in things. And when you download My Fitness Pal, Everything you eat, you can track how many calories and fat and carbohydrates are in this. And it can really help get you a bit more knowledge on what you're eating and how many calories are in things. Because once you, once you get used to it, you, you are just aware of what you're eating. You know how many calories are in things and that. So that can help you lose weight in itself. So if you do a normal day, type everything you're eating in my fitness pal and then you'll realise how many calories you're eating and maybe understand why you're gaining weight. Because maybe some people don't know. Maybe you're like, I eat healthy. I think I eat healthy, I don't eat that much. So I love my fitness pal. I don't track my calories as much these days because I do know how many calories are in my food and I do understand how to read labels. That's another thing, learning how to read labels. Um, cause I know it's really difficult if you are out and you want to buy food, like you're just stopping at the shop and you don't know what to eat, because there isn't really many healthy options out there. But learning the labels on them and knowing how many calories, and you can think, can I have that, should I have that, 
or maybe you're actually astounded like whoa that's got a lot of fat in it man can I warrant that if you can but have it don't restrict yourself too much don't starve yourself or get to the point where you just can't cope even trying anymore and you just give up you need to be balanced actually give being a vegetarian a go because it's not very hard you don't really miss me and because it helped me lose quite a lot of weight well I believe that's what the reason why I managed to lose quite a lot of weight because free stone is a lot of weight a lot of people see me now and they're like wow you lost a lot of weight girl and I'm like yeah to be honest I haven't really worked that hard either I'm not constantly working out five days seven days a week in the gym or working out at home I work out about three days a week maybe I try to push it to about four or five but not I'm not as I'm not much of a fitness person as I used to be but I know about my diet I know what I should be eating and yeah it's just all about for me cutting out the meat and people are worried when you cut out meat that you're not getting enough protein what people don't realize there's so much protein in a lot of the food that's grown from underground honestly nuts um, a lot of your vegetables have protein in it just you don't really need it from a cow you don't I would lift weights and I need my protein but you can also get it from protein shakes or and all that stuff anyway so you don't need to be eating no moo moos or pig pigs you don't it's mean we're all on a journey i'm just trying to better myself i want to be healthy i don't want to eat meat and it's a bonus that i have lost weight and i'm maintaining my weight as well and i'm i'm, I'm not saying like my body's at the best place it could be we're still working towards it um it's just what goals you want like if you just want to lose five pounds like i said start twisting around what you do swap alternatives change what you do instead of having full fat milk blah, blah, blah. yeah but yeah i hope you have enjoyed this video it's nearly dinner time for me so i can't wait to eat i will show you what i am eating i have a salmon and i love salmon it's so good for you and it's yummy I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did like it please like below comment i like to hear what people think but yeah um i will see you next time